p.m. January 8th will now come to order. Roll call. Councillor Rousey. Here. Councillor Koibinen. Here. Councillor Lillis. Here. Councillor Hadrava. Here. Mayor Vaisalovich. Here. Approval of minutes. City Council workshops December 4th. Minutes of City Council meeting December 4th. And minutes of truth and taxation hearing December 4th. No one has any questions or changes. Call for a motion that we accept these minutes. So moved. Motion made by Koibinen. Do I have a support? I'll support. Support by Drava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Tonight's agenda we have two changes under new business. Number nine the relisting of the Carter Circle lots. And number 10, going to a short closed session for labor, labor negotiations. Labor negotiations, yes. If no one has any other additions or questions, call for a motion that we approve tonight's agenda. <coughs> so moved. Motion made by Rousey. Do we have a support? I'll support it. Support by Drava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We have no appointments or presentations. At this time, we allow five minutes of someone from the audience if they like to address the council or we do give an opportunity at the end of the meeting. Anybody from the audience wish to address the city council? If not, we'll move on to the consent agenda. Approval of payroll December 1st through the 16th. Approval of payroll December 16th through the 31st. Approval of claims December. Approval of land licenses in Ellis location. Five, request for police chief to attend the 2019 Executive Training Institute St. Cloud in April. And request for city council and city administer to attend the Coalition of Greater Minnesota Cities Legislative Action Day in St. Paul, January 30th. And resignation letter from William Olson, EMT. Anybody have any changes? Or Mayor, comments? on number four there for the 2019 land licenses and I'll location, I'm going to abstain. Oh, okay, you do have a, yeah. Can anybody else have any changes? I'd or? like to, I'd like to table that until the next meeting, Mayor. Which one? Uh, the land license. Any particular reason or? No, I've got a couple, but maybe we shouldn't talk about it here. Well, anybody got any objections to tabling the land licenses till the next meeting? That's not going to affect anyone, is it? I wouldn't think so. No. Well, so. probably not. They're still going to be using the property. Yeah. While you've got a table. Only one thing I'd like to add for number seven that we do send uh, William Olson a letter of thanks for his service on the ambulance service. Yeah. Have that just that addition. And with that, I'll make that motion. We approve the consent agenda and table item number four till our next meeting. Yep, and okay. with a letter to William Olson. Do we have a support? I'll support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. We have no public hearings at this point. No unfinished business. J1, new business. Item number one, appoint acting mayor. Joe, you still want to hang on to that stressful title? Well, last year was another very good year. <laughs> <laughs> you made every meeting, so yeah, as long as you can keep making meetings, I'd be honored. <laughs> if no one has any other comments or suggestions, I'll make an appointment that we appoint Councillor Koivinen as acting mayor. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava, and your support. I'll support. Support by Rousey. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number two, City Council Board and Liaison Appointments. All I did was remove Councillor Hogue and left it blank, and I figured you guys would negotiate if you wanted to make some other changes also. 
And for the HRA, um, Brian Lillis had stepped in because they couldn't find a um, resident to serve. So Dana Hilton indicates to me that they still need a temporary person while they're recruiting again to get a resident on the HRA. I've got somebody in mind that would might want to be on the EDA part of this. Okay, we don't have a vacancy, but okay. Okay, so okay. keep me in mind when okay. we have a vacancy. Okay. okay, thanks. We have planning commission, we need one. Um, yep. John, yes. you had to get off the planning commission? I was on zoning and golf course, so. Yeah, so he'll have to resign. Those. Yeah, I have to vacate. Yep. You want to take that planning one? I'll take whatever's assigned to me, fella. Oh, man, you're you're easy here. Yeah. He and doesn't he even have to not be at a meeting, and we can tell. Yeah. <laughs> what a guy. I know that's the way that works around here. We got library board. And the EDA, the library board. Yeah. Uh, personnel subcommittee, which the only person that can serve on that probably is um, Councilor Quivenin. Because okay. the two have a conflict of interest. And then the HRA and then Rams. HRA Rams. Anybody volunteering for that one? Oh, I said earlier that I would work on the Rams. Okay. Again. In HRA, we need one of our from the council on there too? Yes, and then one yeah. permanent, one temporary. I would certainly continue to volunteer as a temporary uh, um, fill in for that position if Councillor Rousey wants to take the permanent spot. We're doing EDA together, so maybe you'll want to do HRA. That's, do that's fine way. and dandy with me. Perfect. And what do we have just left? The library board? An alternate personnel subcommittee, maybe. Yeah. Anybody want to volunteer for that one with Brad and I? It can only be Joe. Oh, okay. Because of the conflict of interest. Okay. Well, Joe, you want to be the alternate there? For which one? Personnel. Personnel subcommittee. Of course I will. And then, John, you're the library board, too. Perfect. <laughs> okay. I like the library. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we got all the spots filled here. Anybody have any changes or other ideas? If not, uh, call for a motion that we approve the city council board and liaison appointments. I'll make the motion. Motion made by Hydrava. Do you have a support? I'll support. Support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item three, designate official newspaper. I was I was looking at the quote we got from the Masaba Daily News. It's better than other years. And I was just wondering, maybe we need a daily paper than the once a week. I was thinking because we advertise in both. No. I was. <laughs> I was actually kind of thinking along the same lines, but the a huge difference in the uh, column, or 340 per column inch for city council, or excuse me, for classified and display advertising as opposed to uh, Saba Daily News at 10 and a quarter. So you got three, 340 versus 10 and a quarter. You know, I don't know how that shakes out as far as how much advertising we do and that's going to be that much well, the more only expensive thing or like not, we do advertise for something we end up putting in both and, yep. that's us kind of wondering and that way if we need something in in kind of a pinch you know we can get it like probably next day yeah yep. that's i don't well, know how much extra other than the minutes we use but so the display ads are um i do a budget summary budget there's a big water report there's ads for hiring uh, maybe ads the cops have something or streets have something. So that's what the display ads are for. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise we're depending on the utility billing, you know, to stick a notice in. And yeah. a lot of people just pull out the pay part and don't look at the rest. Yeah. I was thinking, I don't know, give it a try. Can we use both them. of them? So what we what we you should we, pick one. I, right, pick man, one for our official paper, one. but yep. we can advertise wow. them both. I'm just concerned when we do... Tim put something in, or Jerry, or yeah. you know, might be a week lag before it gets there. You know how long it takes if you're hiring somebody. 
Well, I mean, get that in turn, or maybe some parking or road construction when the construction mm -hmm. season starts. Well, let's give it a swing. It's been a while since we've done it. Let's see how it goes. I agree with you, Mayor. We need, uh, I think the daily publication would be a little bit more, uh, uh, keep the community informed a little bit better than the week, weekly. That, that's kind of what I was thinking. You know, yeah, I don't mind it, you know, and, and they, they have some people that come up here every now and then. And yeah. yeah, you know, to cover something special. You know, Leah comes up and covers. And yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. I think you have Give a it a idea. try and see how it works out. I don't know. Yeah. No one has any more uh, comments or or ideas. We may call for a motion that we designate the Masaba Daily News as our official newspaper for 2019. So moved. Was made by Koivinen. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Rousey. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item four, designate depository. That would be the only bank in town, a Miners National Bank. Correct. <laughs> I'll make that motion. Was made by Bradley that we designate the Miners National Bank, our depository for the city of Eveleth. I'll support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number five. Resolution appointing a responsible authority and signing duties. We do that every year. Yep. Year that year. would be appointing the city administrator. It's kind of boilerplate stuff. No one has any questions that call for a motion. That we approve this resolution. Also move. Motion made by Rousey. Do we have a support? I'll support. Support by Drava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number six. Resolution authorizing conveyance of real estate. Isn't this the lot that we gave them a little more time? Yes. Okay. Call for a motion that we authorize conveyance of real estate to Gary and Susan Wright's lots 10D and 11D with restrictive covenants. And if no one has any objections, call for a motion that we approve this resolution. No motion. Made by Lewis, we have a support. Support. Support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number seven, application for exempt permit Curl Musabi Incorporated at the Range Recreation Civic Center, March 21st, 2019. We have a motion that we approve this exempt permit. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Dravid. Do we have a support? Support. Support by Rousey. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number eight, application to conduct excluded bingo, Evelyn Gilbert Bears, PTA and Range Recreation Civic Center, April 7, 2019. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava, do you have a support? Support. Support by Rousey, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. Item number nine. To re, how do I put the re-advertise the Carter Circle lots with uh, possible? Yes, to re-advertise. Yes, to re-advertise is five hundred dollars per lot as the commission. The price per lot is five thousand dollars, and there's a chance that the west half of lot one may be sold to the um, owner of nine eleven Carter Circle. So then we would take the east half of lot one and sell it with lot two, which would make a much nicer lot. Okay. And they're okay if we put a contingency in there. So. Okay. Anybody have any questions or comments? We call for a motion that we approve the sale of Carter Circle lots again. So I'll make that motion. And I'll support it. Motion made by Hadrava, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 10, that the City Council go into short closed session to talk about the labor negotiations. Do you need any... Do you need any action on that, Mitch, or not? Mitch, to go into closed session? Yeah, it'd just be a, it'd just be a, a motion to a go into closed session for that yep. purpose. And, Mayor, do you want to do that and then come back and do reports? 
Or do you want to do reports and then end with the closed session? Well, why don't we just, we just finish the meeting, go into closed we session, we'll be done. We can do that. And then, yep, we'll adjourn it and I'll let Stephanie know what time okay, it is. Okay, call for a motion that to allow the council to go into closed session to discuss labor negotiations. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Hidrava. Do you have a support? I'll support. Support by Rousey. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> motion carried. That takes care of new business. Does anybody have any? It's a little early in the year. Board or liaison reports yet? Well, I do, Mayor, if it's my turn. I don't yes, want to anybody's toes. No. Nope. No, uh, we had um, a meeting some weeks ago with regard to our ambulance service, and, and I had advised the council that I would be back with a little bit of a report to begin the year with. Um, happy to say that uh, compared to the... Um, well, compared to 2017 at this, or the end of 2017, we have uh, made quite a bit of progress in the right direction uh, from what I'm informed. Um, as you're already aware, we've um, got a, a supervisor on site up there um, since July of last year. And uh, some of the positive things we're seeing are um, a great, a uh, number of our calls are being, um, or a great number of our shifts are being filled without any problems, which, if you What's recall, may have been an issue at, at one point where we were having some problems uh, getting shifts filled, but apparently that isn't a problem anymore. The uh, ambulance service had um, a record 851 runs in 2018, which is is quite a few. That's, that's a lot of runs in a little town. Um, we're told that this is largely in part to shifts being filled and not turned over to mutual aid departments and that uh, employees are meeting their shift requirements and there has been an increase in transfers, which is the transfers are, I guess, in that particular world might be considered the money-making part of the business. Um, their transition to the uh, all electronic patient care reporting has been accomplished, which we were shooting for quite some time ago and happy to report that that's up and running and, and working very well from what I understand. They have um, a computer aided dispatch system uh, in their mobile data computers as well. That was another system that we authorized that we were uh, working towards and that has been implemented and is working quite well. Um, I think one of the big things we need to look for in the coming few months uh, is um, the need to replace that 2004 ambulance. Um, we have uh, a committee that's looking into that, you know, as we speak. Uh, and they're going to come to us with some information and some recommendations, but uh, we're getting to a point where, where I think Council's probably going to have to consider a new, a new rig there. Uh, other than that, I guess uh, Dr. Hool, who is our um, medical director, has been, from what I understand, very involved with the department. Um, very people that have dealt with her are quite impressed with her. She has a very good reputation, apparently uh, not just in our area but perhaps statewide. So. Uh, I guess we are lucky to have her on board as our medical director. So I guess uh, that's it in a nutshell. Is there any questions that anyone has at this point? I think it's a good thing that we're moving forward and it's balanced out a little bit finally and stabilized. It's, it's actually, it's come a long way. I mean, I guess uh, it just has. You know, you guys did a good job sticking with that. And I guess now that we got kind of a, everybody got an idea of what's going on, it's time to look at a, probably a new rig. Well, 2004, I mean, it's... It's a lot of years. It's a service. lot of years. We've had it looked at. When North was up, they took it down to their shop. Mm -hmm. um, we can get a few more years out of it, but, you know, it's something that old. We all know what could happen at any time. So it's just something... It was like the fire truck that we didn't want to get and we knew we had to get and we got. 
Well, I think we're going to be in that same position with and the loader. I mean, it's just something that we have to deal with yeah. as a city and with, with a lot of work. You know, we use all this stuff. It doesn't sit. Well, if we're going to commit to have an ambulance service, <laughs> yeah. you've got to have uh, up-to-date equipment. I'm glad the technology part is all in place. I was kind right. of excited about that. And I think with the new ambulance, that offers us some more opportunities to provide our staff some better equipment too you know that might we might be like a all-wheel uh, drive too for the next uh, guys thinking of well we haven't got any of specs in but you know from my i guess my view as a, a citizen and as a council person i think that would be a real useful piece of equipment in this town in the winter time that's for sure and yeah, that, that was my thoughts all the time because you, you never know when that thing's leaving yeah. oh yeah or where it's going yep. yeah and then we have, you know, we have the increased number of transfers. So, you know, that was kind of, I think we all were looking at that as kind of a benchmark for, you know, the need to replace uh, existing ambulance was the fact that we're traveling out of town quite a lot more frequently than we were previously. So, you know, we, we have a lot of talented people and we just need to get them the right equipment to, 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 to get it, get the job done. Well, there's a lot of transfers from the hospital to Duluth. Yep. A lot more, than I think, than I've seen in years. Then you got to bring them back. And most Everybody's the getting older. And, you know, everybody up on his council. I mean, it could be one of us in an ambulance at any given time. I mean, we're all getting older, and I we have an older to, town. I took three rides in it last year. So. <laughs> Believe See? me, I've called it my share, too, I'll tell you that. You know, we have a good service, so. Yeah, as long as the community wants to commit, uh, we might as well. Get yeah. to keep the right equipment there, up to date. That's I like the technology part. Yeah. Any other co commission uh, meetings or anything? If not, uh, Chief, do you have anything to add? <coughs> Jerry, you're not going to spend any money this meeting. Oh, oh good, good. <laughs> you giving us a little break here. For <laughs> Jackie, you have anything to add? No, nope, I don't. I was just reminding John he's got to choose for the next tickets. <laughs> oh, okay. Mitch, you got anything? Uh, no. Nice. Steph, anything new yet? John, you want to have the honors? And you cannot pick your own name. <laughs> I, I don't got my name. <laughs> yeah. you, you can get your neighbor. Your, I still get complaints about that. And the winner is <laughs> a classmate of mine from Station 44 Road, Mr. Gene Kotnick. Oh, oh. yes. Congratulations, Gene. And so that um, that's for the February 17th St. Louis Blues. John, can I have that? Yes, you Thank may. You. Thank you. Do I have to uh, go into closed session? Do I have to adjourn this meeting and well, re reconvene when we come out and adjourn no. this? Or? No, you no. just adjourn. And okay. I'll let Stephanie know what to put in the minutes. Anybody from the audience have anything to add or anybody else from the council? One more thing, Mayor. Yes, just Brian. wanted to officially welcome Councillor Rosie aboard. Um, it's nice to have you sitting there and look forward to serving with you. I'm looking forward to serving myself, however. <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> this is going to be an exciting ride, gentlemen. <laughs> it will be. Yes. See, I was ready. I know. <laughs> First thing I noticed. No, they like that when they bring the gavel up because it looks official. No, they can just shut you up quick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I got one thing, Mayor. Yes. Um, to the public here, I know most of us probably know this, but... Uh, our area lost Tom Rukavina here uh, a couple of days ago, and, and uh, it's a sad thing for his family, and our condolences from our mayor and our council, I'm sure, go right out to him and, and their family. So um, he was a great legislator for all of us. Well, you know, he's one of the few guys left that their word meant something. When he told you something, their word was as good as gold. Yeah. And he didn't change his mind. So if he told you something, there's not a lot of people like that anymore. Might not like what he, Tom had to say, but he told you, and he helped you out a lot. But he, he told returned. you, and then you, when it was business, it was business, but he'd take you out afterwards, buy you a beer, do whatever. I mean, it, it was just, he was a pleasure to deal with, even if he didn't like what he had to say. 
You left him a message. He called you back. Oh, that's what any time good. I called, I got it no. back. Yeah. You know, yeah. uh, Tim and Thomasoni both. They yeah. were great assets. You call them, they call you back. They do anything that can help you. You're kind of losing that dedication. I hope it comes back. Yeah. The next up to this last election period, because that really helps an area, small area. Anybody from the audience have anything to add? If not, I'll adjourn the meeting. <laughs>